A 4.3 magnitude earthquake has hit merely kilometers away from Dhaka. The earthquake happened six, around 6 a.m. today. Many citizens of Dhaka were roused out of their slumber as soon as the tremors began. USGS put the earthquake strength at 4.3 on their Richter scale, adding it happened near Duhar Upazila in Dhaka division. The USGS said that the earthquake was 10 kilometers deep. Facebook statuses on the earthquake flooded social media soon after it happened. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will attend the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, a biennial summit of government till governmental leaders from the Commonwealth nations today. The summit will hold at Marlboro House, the Commonwealth Secretariat. London and Bangladesh Premier is scheduled to attend at the event in the afternoon. Interaction with King Charles III, Head of Commonwealth by the Commonwealth Heads of Government is scheduled to f happen from 14, from 12, from 2 p.m. to 2.45 p.m. Close discussions of the Commonwealth leaders will hold at the main conference room, which is to be chaired by Paul Kagame, President of Rwanda Commonwealth, chair in office from at 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. The Prime Minister later will attend 5.15 p.m. with will attend the King Charles III reception for the heads and states of the government or the overseas representative in advance of the coronation of their king and queen consort at Buckingham Palace to here. A 27-member delegation left the country for Myanmar to see the environment and preparation ahead of Rohingya repatriation. They departed from Technav Upazila of Cooksbazar at 10 a.m. The delegation includes 20 Rohingya people, including three women, an interpreter, and six Bangladesh government officials. This is the first such move to start a process for the much awaited repatriation. The police did not find anyone responsible for the death of 51 people in the BM container depot of Shitakondo Chotrogram. The police had submitted the final court report to the court stating that the case were factually incorrect. At the same time, eight accused have been recommended to be discharged from the case. Next Monday has been fixed for the hearing in this regard. On June 4th last year, 51 people were killed at a terrible explosion at BM container depot in Shitakondo. Three days later, after that the blast took place, a case was registered against the eight officials of the deport in Shitakondo police station on June 7th. The prices of all kinds of daily commodities have gone up in the span of a week. Price of onion has been increased by 10 taka, where prices of papaya and green chilies have also been increased. Sugar crisis has been seen after visiting to Azanpur kitchen market in the capital Zotara. Although open sugar is being available in one or two shops, it is being sold at Taka 135 to 140. So, I mean, oil is being sold at the previous price. The new fixed price of the oil has not come to the market yet. The sellers say that soybean oil will be sold at the new price only when the previous price of the soybean oil is finished. However, pulses and spices are being sold at high prices. Prices of onion, ginger, and garlic have been increased. Onion is being sold at Taka 55 per kg, ginger at Taka 200 and garlic is being sold at Taka 160 per kg. The sellers say the prices of potatoes and eggs have also increased. Eggs are being sold at Taka 150 per dozen. However, the price of broiler chicken has been decreased. <laughs> Dental college admission test has been held on Friday. This time, 69 students have applied for the admission of government dental and medical colleges against one seat. In the academic year of 2022 and 2023, the admission test of BDS course of public and private dental colleges held on Friday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. This one-hour exam was conducted in MCQ system. 37,528 students sat for the exam. The number of seats for the course in government medical is 545. The medical and the private medical has been 1,405 seats. The exam held at 16 venues. The exam was held in 16 venues in total 12 centers. 
Various allowances and financial benefits for backward communities have been increased in eight times through the budget in the last 14 years. This year, also, the number of allocation and beneficiaries is increasing. Economists say that although the allocation increases every year, there are many irregularities and mismanagement of the process of identifying the real beneficiary and delivering the benefits to them. So attention should be paid to how to achieve this benefit in more effective way. Kanchan Boyati lives by begging in the capital. For people like him, the government provided money and allocation and rehabilitation under the social security program and his fate did not meet. Despite going around the public representatives, he could not get old age allowance or house under the shelter scheme. One lakh thirteen thousand five hundred and seventy six crores taka have been allocated in the current financial year budget under the social security program to provide cash and various services, which is about 17 percent of the total budget. Currently, 29 percent of households are receiving allowances and other benefits under the social security program. If the temperature that was in the country in April this year remains increasing further, then the production of paddy will decrease at an alarming rate. Crop diseases will increase, will increase as well. Experts say that technologies to adapt according to the climate change must be invented now to avoid any sort of food security. If the situation of the climate change and devastating Bangladesh's environmental condition do not come under control, the agriculture sector will face the biggest loss. If new technology is not invented, rice production will decrease by 15% by 2050. If the temperature increases by 2 degrees, corn production will decrease by 6% where wheat production may stop. Meteorologists say that from the rooftop, the, alarm, the, farming, the, the rooftop farming of the city will also suffer in this case. Senior Scientific Officer of Bangladesh Rice Research Institute, Institute Dr. Mohammad Kamru Zaman said that current technology cannot ensure food safety if temperature continues to rise. Health Directorate is suspecting an increase in dengue patients in the country this year. Meanwhile, City Corporation is emphasizing on strategic changes to control dengue. However, experts are saying to emphasize awareness about dengue. At least 16 people have been admitted to hospital due to the dengue infection in the country from 8 a.m. to 2nd May to 8 a.m. of 3rd May. At the present, 74 people are under treatment in the country's hospital. Among them, 56 are in the capital, 18 outside. The number of patients admitted to the hospital since January 1st, the first, the 1,053 people, where 11 people died. Health Director said that the number of dengue patients may increase this year. Hospitals are being prepared accordingly. The Chief Health Officers of Taka North City Corporation said a strategic change has been brought to control dengue. However, experts believe awareness of common people is most important to control dengue. Many people are suffering in Barishal City Corporation. Regulations, even the directives of Ministry of Local Governments have been ignored step by step. The mayor appointed the manpower in single decision. A person is given responsibility for more than one post, even if he is not qualified. Kazim Muzammal Hussain, Assistant Assessor of Barishal City Corporation, but he has been assigned as the duty of chief assessor. The chief health officer was removed and rehired there without the permission of the Ministry of the Local Government. Almost one and a half years have been passed since the expansion of Silla City Corporation, but the citizen charter have not increased. Initially, the city authorities set up regional offices only in few extended words. Complaints of the citizens were shortage of fresh water in the extended area, no drainage management, no road renovation. However, the development of the project of the new words is under the process and said that the city mayor had added 15 more words are added in 27 words. The population is about 4 lakhs. Citizens brace themselves for entry into the city corporation from the union, but development is, has been remained elusive. The number of accidents and casualties in Zinaida Highway is increasing day by day. According to the fire service, a total of 174 people lost their lives in at least 1,400 road accidents in the districts in the last five years. Although the number of deaths as, as private is 290 people, about 2,000 people were injured. However, even after that, order could not be restored on the road.
Chab Chabdar Ali and his wife Parveena Begum died in a road accident in Kaliganj of Zinaida on March 28 last while going to see the doctor. From 2018 to May 2 this year, the fire service has recorded 1,404 road accidents in Zinaida where 170 people lost their lives. Accidents have increased every year since 2019. Accidents are increasing due to various reasons including reckless driving, speeds of vehicles and careless of carelessness of motorcyclists. Now the currency rates, according to Shilin Bank Limited, US dollar is being bought at Taka 108 and sold at Taka 109. The buying price of Great Britain Pound is Taka 127 and selling price is Taka 134. While Euro is being sold at Taka, bought at Taka 117 and sold at Taka 122. Saudi Real is being bought at Taka 29 and sold at Taka 31. And Kuwaiti Dinah is being bought at Taka 345 and sold at Taka 365.